Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is David and on today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to take care of your sparkly and sour alloglimenia. Listen, I'm not really good with her name. I just like finally found out. I mean, people always tell me like where her name is. People are like literally clicking out because like, they're like, this child doesn't even know what it's called. Y'all, I know how to take care of it. I can tell you that. But yes, it's called sparkling sour aglominia. Like I said, a lot of people always tell me what it was called because I kept forgetting when I do husband tours. Um, and then I googled it and like now, it's just like the name is like really, really pretty. Sparkling Sara. Sounds like a soda. Like sparkling, you know, sparkling water. I know what I'm saying, but I have my cup of coffee and we're gonna do this video. By the way, if you're new, like I said, hi. Uh, like, thank you so much for joining. Alrighty, so here is this beautiful girly. The pot, it's beyond gorgeous with the beautiful stems. Uh, it's beautiful, it's like a light pink, just like the stems, which when I saw this, I was like, I have a plant in mind, so I ended up snatching it, and I got it. It, it was like a like a three pot combo, whatever, like for $15 or $8, I'm not really sure, but it was from the dollar store, and it was really, really nice, the quality is great, it has one drainage hole, but look, you guys are here for the plant. Okay, so this is called a Aglumenia Sparkling Sara or Sawa Sparkling. I'll put the name, like, it will literally be on the title. Now, I did end up shining her leaves. I do use a leaf shiner. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. I'm one of those that love it. My grandma loves it, and she's been using it for years. And when she told me, like, you should use it for your plants, I was like, <gasps> Let me use it. So, and since then, like, my plants just look a lot prettier. I get a lot of compliments when people always come to my house and they're like, your plant looks really shiny. I'm like, yes, it is. And they're like, is it fake? I'm like, no, it's not. I'm just using, what is it called again? Waxer? Girl, oh my God. I just finished, like, editing three videos and I'm gonna film two videos right now. I'm a little bit out like the bus. But, um, yeah, so, uh, if you guys are interested in the leaf shiner, it will be in the, in the description box below. Um, it's from Amazon uh yeah and i just i love it now people said like when you use it the plant can't breathe that's why some people don't like it y'all the plant breathes to the bottom of, of its leaves and usually you're just shining the top so when you spray it um usually you can spray it on a napkin and then you wipe the leaves to make sure you're not getting none on the bottom but yeah like the majority of its breathing where it gets all of its carbon dioxide and all this other stuff it gets up on the bottom of the leaves now i am rambling a lot it's because this video is not scripted usually when i do like how to care of this specific plant i usually have it scripted i usually have like all the temperatures and humidity and light requirements and all the other stuff but this is just like random um so i'm gonna just say it how it is so we're gonna start with the light and i usually like to say like it's a low light plant but i don't think she's a low light plant personally when i left her like in a low light condition she was turning a little bit of yellow leaves and then when I put in a brighter spot, she just ended up pushing out a lot more leaves. So, and it was like in the growing season. So now it wasn't going dormant. Now, I want to say this like as well. Whenever I see like low light conditions or like bright light conditions or medium light conditions, usually what I mean about low light is like a dark hallway with no windows and just artificial lighting. There is, and I'm saying that like, I guess that's like in my spectrum because I have some plants that can survive in those conditions and I like to consider those low light plants. One of the most popular ones is Sansevieria's, the other one is Golden Potos. She is not a low light plant in that spectrum of like what I said. And when I say medium, like the light that you see in my room, I have two windows, one right in front of me and then one like on the side which you can see all the light coming through. I consider that like medium lights, like the light that is getting right now, I consider that as medium. And then when I say bright indirect, it's like right on the window, but it's getting diluted by a curtain or something white, you know, like it's getting diluted, it's not getting direct sunlight. And when I say bright indirect, it's just like, you know, self-explanatory. It's getting direct light from the sun rays. But yeah, she is not a low light plant. She is almost like, she's doing pretty, honestly, really, really good and medium light condition. So the lighting that you see in this room, that's exactly how she's been performing really amazing. But when I had a low light, like I said, she wasn't doing good at all. A lot of my other low light plants were okay with it, but this one, they don't like it. So now we're gonna talk about the watering. Usually with this girl, you can tell when it's thirsty because it doesn't droop its leaves unless like it's really really bone dry. But usually the way I found out, I find out when it needs water, I just like caress, stroke, touch the leaves, and if it doesn't feel like 
firm, then I know it needs water. So I guess you can say like when the two top, when the top two inches of soil is dry, it give it a good soak of water. My favorite method of watering my plants is bottom watering. I have a lot of, I think I have like a specific video on why I prefer bottom watering, but sometimes it's just, it's way too time consuming and some of us don't have time or someone just wants it to be fat. So top watering is okay as well, but give it a nice good soak of water. But yeah, she's pretty, pretty good. She can tolerate um, dry like conditions on the soil. She won't really fuss. But if it's if it's dry for way too long, just like any other plant, it will develop some yellow leaves, and then yeah, they're gonna die away. So also one more thing that you can also use, which when I was first when I was first studying my plant collection, this was my lifesaver. This is a moisture meter. It detects. Um, you just put it literally on the soil. I just bottom water her literally yesterday. So it should be literally on the moist level. Yeah, the red that you see right there, that's dry. The green is moist and the blue is wet. Um, you never want to have your plants on wet. There's one plant that I think will enjoy and it's the heart leaf um, fern. I think I've said that correctly, but Lord have mercy, I killed it because it was literally on the moist section, but it still died. <sighs> that's a whole different video. <laughs> but yeah, that moisture meter is amazing. It also detects Light. This is not sponsored by the way. I wish it was because I, I would love to have more so I can give some away Um, because I have some people in mind that I would love to give them to But it also detects the light levels and the pH as well, which could be useful I use a pH once and it was in my vegetable garden because when you like grow vegetables outside It's nice to know the pH levels because if it's too high the plants can't like absorb the nutrients from the soil But yeah, I use the pH um outdoors and then the moist level inside and the light whenever I'm moving my plants around like my precious ones i like to make sure that it's getting like a good amount of light so you just usually use that to find out and as you guys see it's littered on the low section but yes if you guys are interested in this moisture meter like i said it will be linked down below including also the leaf shiner these are all products that i personally tried and i'm not sponsored by any of these products i honestly wish i was make her grow hey now let's talk about Fertilizer. I just love talking about fertilizer. So there's a lot of different ways you can fertilize this plant. Honestly, just like a basic plant that you can fertilize with. In other words, like it doesn't need like specific fertilizing. Usually when I fertilize my baby girl is um <laughs> every two weeks if I'm always on top of it. But I usually um, fertilize my plants once a week and I have dilute the fertilizer. I never... So if it says to put one tablespoon of that specific fertilizer, I usually put only half a spoon. So that's what it means, like half dilute and half um, with water. I'm sorry, my English is terrible. I'm trying my best. But yeah, I just uh, I just fertilize her once a month. Sometimes is every two weeks, and she's been doing really, really good. Like I said, she has grown a lot. She was in a a uh, six inch pot when I first bought her and I got it for five dollars at Walmart. We love Walmart. But yeah, she's grown insane and she's just doing so, so good. Not about propagation. Now this girly, I don't know how to propagate it. This is just a guess. Um, Cause it's almost on the same family that another plant that I um, propagated before. I think you can literally just cut it like by the stems on the bottom. For example, let me show you guys right now. This over here, you snap it and then you put it in water or in soil because it looks like a Chinese evergreen and that's how I propagate my Chinese evergreens. Oh, I know for sure you can also divide it. So like this plant that you see over here, you can divide it and like make a whole different plant. This one as well. And then this one, so like basically like offshoots. But yeah, that's how I would propagate this plant. And I don't wanna propagate it yet because I really love how bushy it looks in this beautiful pot. But I'm pretty sure I will do it like maybe next year. And if I do, I'll keep you guys updated as well. Now humidity, this plant seems like it doesn't need high humidity. I'm saying that because when I had it in my apartment, it really didn't need it a lot of humidity. It was doing perfectly a-okay in the living room where there was no humidity. The other thing that I noticed was about like some brown tips, but I believe that was because of the I really don't know at this one over here. I really don't know why that happens. I know that my cats sometimes they don't really bite it. They usually like, like to play with the leaves. Um, so I think that's what happened. But all the other leaves look perfectly fine. Like I said, I have it in a spot that doesn't have a lot of high humidity. Like it's like in a 30 to 40% humidity. So, and it's doing perfectly fine. Again, what I'm saying right now is like how I'm taking care of this plant. But obviously you guys can go and do some research, like a quick Google search on how to care for that specific plant. If you're like one of those that would like to know like specifically like the level of humidity and temperature, um, 
they can also google it it's just i didn't do it i was gonna do it but i have a lot of things planned out and i don't have time right now to like script it out and also i just want to like i just want to do something different on like this type of videos i want to be like more personal on how i specifically care for this plant so now temperature this girly is literally in room temperature it was in my again it was in my apartment and it used to be really really cold so i guess i used to put the thermostat to 60. i know that's kind of crazy but yeah she really didn't fuss at all the only time when i noticed she was fussing was with the yellow leaves and that's when i, I forgot to water her so she was pretty dry to the bone so yeah she would do a okay in room temperature so like between 70 through like 80 she'll be perfectly fine and i think that's pretty much it on this plant if you guys have any other questions please let me know i will try to answer all of them and if you have any tips as well let us know in the comment section below i love hearing you guys's tips some of you guys have really really good ones and yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new so you can watch more daily plant content and i'll see you tomorrow bye